Let's see how you can add new commands to the CLI of Cloud Foundry's Platform as a Service. Cloud Foundry now offers command line plugins that let you automate any development or administrative tasks. This video shows you the end user experience of installing a plugin and interacting with the new commands. On the plugin development side, these scripts can accept arguments, invoke other CLI commands, make external API calls, and interact with the file system or environment. Released in CLI 6.7, Plugins are written in Go and are easily packaged for public or private distribution. Here, my top window is showing the CLI directory of my Cloud Foundry installation, while the bottom window shows several previously downloaded demonstration plugins for us to install and run. I've checked that my Cloud Foundry version is up to date and that there are no new plugins installed, so I only have the native commands. The tree command shows me the structure of a fresh CLI directory. I use CF install plugin to install my first demonstration plugin called test1 in the upper window then check the CLI directory to confirm that the test1 plugin executable has been copied to my default plugins directory. My plugin configuration is stored under the plugins slash config.json file. Successfully installing the test1 plugin gives me two new CLI commands called test1 command1 and test1 command2. I'm now done installing my test plugin, so I'll close the top window and go execute those commands as an end user from the CLI. Let's use CF plugins to list installed plugins and check that both new commands have been added. To help users, CLI plugins can list themselves on the general CF help output shown here, or provide full page help under the direct help syntax, just like CF help push. Plugin one worked, so now I'm going to show you a second demonstration plugin called test two. I can see that the test two plugin has installed its two demonstration commands shown here. In this case, our new command simply echoes set output, but it could perform any action you like. While plugins allow me to create new CF commands, they're not currently intended to override the native commands. You're also prevented from overriding a command previously claimed by another plugin. Here you can see me attempting to install a plugin which would override the native push command. Again, trying to override the help command also fails as expected. Next. I'm going to install a final plugin called MySay, which takes an argument. This shows that a plugin can optionally take one or more command line arguments or flags. The MySay plugin simply echoes all arguments. So now you've seen how to install and use Cloud Foundry plugins that provide new CLI commands, accept arguments, and are incorporated into the CLI help system. Thanks for watching.